Hey, this is week number three, and this is a regular report of uh, Xerocracy and Zolt progress in two businesses we run, which stay together. They help each other. And the first really great announcement I have to make is that we finally managed to solve the memory leakage problem in our Zolt software. Uh, we had this problem for a few last months. You most probably have heard about that. Uh, I wrote about that. We were discussing it in our uh, Telegram chat. It was a disaster. So basically every time you were starting a node, a Zolt node, a uh, server-side software, it was running for some time and then eventually it became uh, occupying larger space in memory and uh, the server was uh, rejecting it or canceling, terminating the, uh, the process. And we did many things to prevent that from, hap from happening and we even were checking the amount of space we were taking the memory and we were killing the, the process before the operating system does that. So finally we found out that there was a bug or it may be a feature, I don't know, in Ruby, the programming language which we're using. Uh, I think it's a bug, but we, we had a few people helping us to solve that and some of them said that we just need to configure it right. I don't know. In a nutshell, the problem is that every time uh, the software needs some space in memory for uh, doing something with the data, like wallet data, uh, the memory is given but it is supposed to be taken back by the garbage collection uh, and it works like that it works perfectly well while there is one thread but our software is multi-threaded so in multiple threads we allocate quite a lot of memory and all of those memory supposed to be uh, shared between threads and when one thread doesn't need that memory then another thread has to use it reuse it again and take that memory from another thread but it's not happening like that. So it seems that in Ruby, uh, the more threads you have, the more memory they need, the larger is the total consumption uh, of memory. And we were killing threads before. So we were not reusing them. We we're just creating a new thread, using some memory inside that thread, and then just killing that thread and creating a new thread. But the memory, which was occupied by that thread, which is killed now, was never garbage collected. So the more threads you create, the larger the total consumption in memory, even though the memory which is not needed anymore uh, stays there and never garbage collected. That's what we had and we solved that by moving to reuse threads now from now on. So now we don't just kill them and we don't start new ones, we, we get them from the pool and the pool has a pretty limited amount of threads. The larger the amount of memory the server has, the more threads we allocate when we start the process. And then we never take more threads, uh, we never create more of them. They just, we just keep using what's in the pool. Finally, it's solved and we're great to celebrate that. And, and you can go to our uh, health control uh, page for, uh, from Zolt.io. So go to Zolt.io and find the link to the uh, health page. And there you will see that the, uh, that the uh, network is quite stable. So if you pay attention to the um, column called H, you will see that uh, most of the nodes are staying online for days, not for a few hours, but for days. And still they occupy quite small amount of memory, which you can see in the column called mem. So that means that the network is quite stable, nodes don't go offline, and we are ready to accept new hosters, new people who will host their nodes. They know from now on that they don't need to monitor manually what's going on in the server. You just start the, um, the software and it will stay online for forever. You know that the software, Zolt software updates itself, so you don't need to upgrade it to newer versions. You just start it once and every time we release something new, it just gets the new version from the Ruby repository, updates itself and restarts itself. So that's, that's a great achievement for this week. Next one is that uh, we announced in a public article on the blog, we announced the financial model, which we had before as a document, but now we have a public article explaining how uh, you can contribute with your Bitcoins to the to bureaucracy business and how you can make actually some profit. Um, the article is pretty short. There are some numbers demonstrating how your uh, uh, your crypto assets can be converted into Zolt 
and then how those zolds gonna grow in value and then how in a year you will get a, uh, a profit of about 50 percent uh, we hope that this is how it's gonna go so we want you to see with us if you're interested you can join now while zold is still young and still uh, need your support need your help um, check it out read it it's all ready for your investments no matter how big or small they are you can donate with just a few dollars or you can donate with uh, bigger amounts uh, point number three is that we got a new client like I promised you uh, last week we were we had two quite big clients waiting for uh, waiting to get on board one of them actually started and um, it's going to be a Python uh, software package uh, we are looking right now for Python developers because this is not what we had before we had Java and Ruby mostly so it's a new language for us new set of developers we need if you are a Python developer try to join in we're actively looking for uh, new developers because the project seems to be quite big and we need uh, we need help and developers code reviewers uh, quality assurance testers uh, the second client which I was talking about last week is still in the process of signing a contract with us they said that it's gonna happen so let's see maybe this week the next week it's gonna happen it's gonna be also a large client we will need Java developers for that project so if you are a Java developer also keep in mind that we may need your help in the nearest future and the last one we are now actively discussing uh, the possibility of moving to Zolt payments and Zolt um, project funding completely uh, getting out of uh, other payment uh, mechanisms right now as you know we use PayPal for payouts we use credit cards for uh, project funding and we use uh, bitcoins and Zolts for payouts we are thinking that most likely in the next few weeks we will move entirely to Zolt so programmers will be able to get payments in Zolt only and people who fund projects will also be uh, able to fund it in Zolt we're not going to remove the credit cards like which we use uh, via Stripe now but we will add the possibility to fund projects uh, via Zolt cryptocurrency so that's our plan so that's it for now thanks for staying with us we still need uh, your help as uh, investors you can help us with your bitcoins or with your cash we are looking for ruby developers volunteers who want to help us to make the software better because we still have a number of technical problems there you can find them on the roadmap page uh, and we're looking for people who can help us with the community building as you know we're now at the Bitcoin talk forum and we need your help there as well I said it last week we still need that we don't know how that forum works we're quite new there so if you can help uh, join us tell us how it has to be done and we can reward you with um, with our cryptocurrency or even with cash thank you see you next week